Periscoping live from uh, Wolf Out Studios in sunny Madison, Wisconsin. It's a Periscope with your host, Nick Chapel. Tonight's guest is Cleveland native and Portland resident, Dave G. And strange things are afoot at the Circle K. But now, the peanut butter to your pickles, Dave Chapel. Yes. Yes, hello ladies and germs. Where are my germs at? <laughs> and welcome to episode gully of Up Periscope, one of the only shows in the world hosted by me, Nate Chapel. We are broadcasting live from my phone, of course, the Wolf Mobile, via Twitter's live broadcast app Periscope. Periscope, what the hell are you looking at? That's their new slogan, slightly more aggressive they're going this week. So, as we've discussed, Periscope is now available on Android, but relax, relax, it won't become self-aware or anything. I checked into it. The extensive budget we have for R&D, they actually printed up this uh, report here, and uh, hmm. actually, this is my mistake, I think I accidentally put the D&D &D team on this. But, well, this is what we've got, so... Uh, all right, you're walking through the musty catacombs when you see three large bugbears approaching. So everybody roll for initiative. This is a d20. You guys all have 20-sided dice, or...? Okay, well, this doesn't feel right to be playing this without a two-liter of Mountain Dew and a bag of Funyuns anyway, so... But yeah, I'm sure you guys saw we were on the road last week for episode Fern, broadcasting from the lovely Westmont, New Jersey. I was actually, yeah, what's my aunt? I was working across the river there in Philadelphia, the City of Bells, as they call it. We were staying at a very fancy private club downtown, and uh, we were actually had to be dressed business casual to go to breakfast. Uh, yeah, uh, there's nothing casual about business, okay? Not the way I do it. What I do have to say was unnerving not to be able to see anybody's feet while we were eating breakfast, you know? No toes at all. It was kind of off-putting. <laughs> but they do have somebody checking you at the door. They have this person, like, posted there to make sure you're appropriately dressed, which is sort of embarrassing. But one of the guys I was with, Jerry, an older guy, uh, had his shirt untucked. And the lady said to him, Sir, please put your shirt inside your pants. <laughs> I thought that was a really weird way to say it. Kind of intimate and instructional, you know, tucking your shirt. You know, not put your shirt inside your pants. Seems kind of weird. Like motherly, like he's never tucked a shirt in, like he's a wee little boy. Seemed a little, I don't know, condescending, out of line. But then he did poop his pants, I guess, and started crying. So if the dress shoe fits, you know, you must have quit, what did they say? Uh, guys, not to get too heavy on you here, but last night I was looking out on the clear, star-kissed sky, and I thought about how far away each of those stars is, and how vast the universe is, and it suddenly made me feel so, so sm mad that we call our moon the moon, and other moons have awesome names like Atlas, and Prometheus, and Titan. It seems like a bit of a ripoff, a bit of a branding failure, don't you think? I mean, at least we had enough sense to name our planet something instead of just the planet. I mean, how did that get through, but we just passed on the moon like we just were worn out from naming the planet? You know, like, nah, we'll come back to it. Just label it what it is. It's a moon, right? Dog, cat, quit fighting. You know, I guess they probably didn't know there would be more, so. But now we know, so let's, let's rebrand the moon, me and you, tonight. Let's say either, how about either Nate or Dave. That's a new name of the moon. So red hearts for Nate, yellow for Dave. Remember, you got a triple tap to change the color. Yeah, you guys got it. So vote now. When Dave hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's assault. So that's a monologue, guys. A little later on, we'll talk bikes with Portland's own Dave G. But right after this, we're going to hear a message from the future. You come back here.
Hi, I'm Nick. To come back to your present day to tell you guys a couple things about 2050. First of all, let me address jetpacks. No jetpacks, sorry, present day Nate. Oh, we had them for a little while, but then we learned how to fly. Also, it turns out global warming is great. We all wear shorts and tank tops all the time. The whole world is like Venice Beach in the 90s, but without the rollerblades. They went out when jetpacks came in. Also, there is no war, mostly because camo shorts look silly. People just look like a bunch of shins out there. Hunger has also been eradicated, and everyone gets a fourth meal now thanks to the Taco Bell initiative. We've learned how to restore our forests, our wetlands, and many of our favorite celebrities. Planet of the Apes is on its sixth reboot, Spider-Man is on its ninth reboot, and Italy is still shaped like a boot. We've got colonies on Mars, Titan, Prometheus, Dave, and Detroit. We've also achieved full gender and racial equality, and you know, it really didn't take that long. We powered the planet entirely with renewable energy, most of the blood of kittens. I realize that sounds terrible in 2015, but you haven't lived through the horrors of the cat revolt of 2035. They have it coming. I do have to warn you that the late night talk show is a thing of the past, as is all entertainment. With one exception, Up Periscope is the last remaining show and runs 27 hours a day. Oh, we have 27 hours a day now. So Up Periscope is on 27.5. We also have five weeks now. I've just retired from hosting, finally, and I'm going to spend my re remaining 60 years traveling the universe in space time and really getting to know myself. It's been a hell of a run, you guys, so get ready. If I can leave you with one message, it's this. Buy all the shorts you can get your hands on. Cargo shorts would be best so you can carry it. Through the wilderness, the seeds you'll use as currency after the collapse. Also, a hammer loop would be nice for carrying a hammer in case of marauders. All right, remember, time might be a flat circle, but so is pizza. Don't lose sight of that. See you next time. To the future! Webster defines to date as a contention by words or arguments. Hmm. Jobs, 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 madame also. Companies are using overseas sweatshops. Sweatshops. Who has some gross? Ooh, I'm a big supporter of women. I really love women. My mom, my mom's a woman. Read my lips. I think I understand triple-down economics. But I'm saying, why don't we start with double-down economics? Pass. Can I pass? Can I have some more water? I also have a five-point plan. High five. Ah, I can't breathe. Can you use it in a sentence? Free pizza for all. Ooh, I'm sorry. I was up all night cramming for the thing. Hey. Fair's fair. He's already had four years. Give somebody else a turn. It's my turn. I'm the thing one. I'm the thing one. On day one, I'll probably just set up my office and get my Star Wars guys all lined up. Uh, Jim, I'd like to respond. I know you are. But what am I? Yes, I experimented with drugs in college. But I didn't inhale. You can't inhale heroin. Unless you smoke. I didn't smoke heroin. Nate Grady. Nate DeBady. Kind of dark in here. <laughs> there it is. Hey man in the mirror. I gotta say, I like all your stripes and your colors. Looking good. Remember last week when the background wasn't the scripts? Yeah. That sucked. I missed you. I missed you, man in the mirror. So, how do you think things are going so, so far? Good. Good. Me too. Um, back to the moon thing. That was pretty funny <laughs> when I was talking about the moon and renaming it. I didn't see who how the voting turned out. Did you, man in the mirror? Oh. Hmm. I guess I thought you would have been paying attention. I was up there pouring my soul out. What do you care? You're just a reflection, man in the mirror. Don't start with me, pal. I'm starting with you.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to a Periscope episode. Uh, go ahead. My guest tonight is a guy I know from Portland. His name is Dave G. <laughs> Dave, welcome to the show. Thank you, Nate. Thanks for coming all the way to Madison just for this. I really appreciate it. Any weekend. Any weekend? Okay, what about weeknights? Because Wednesday nights is kind of our deal. You're very busy during the week. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> I'm glad you could make it tonight, at least. Um, uh, so, the reason we have Dave on is because he is a bike expert. Um, he professionally and for fun um, ex dips into the bike land. Um, so, what he want, he's here today. What are you here to show us today? Uh, we'd like to talk about uh, a little bit of bike maintenance, some uh, changing of brake pads. Changing of brake pads, great. Okay. Um, so I want to kind of do the do this for the lowest common denominator. Like pretend I don't know anything. I don't know anything about bikes. What's a brake pad? So brake pad is the portion of the bicycle that will touch the rim and help you to stop when moving. Okay. Uh, what's a rim? So the rim is the portion of the bicycle that the tire is affixed to that moves in a circular motion uh, to propel you forwards. Back up, can you say that again? So the rim is a part of the bicycle that's attached to the wheel that helps you move forwards. Bicycle, so why is it called a bicycle? Maybe we should just back up, because brake pads are pretty specific. Why is it called a bicycle? Because we're talking wheels, tires, I don't know where you're going with all of this. Certainly, so bicycle, a bi would be a two, and a cycle would be a continuous movement. Um, you put the two together, you talk a bicycle. Uh, this device is generally used for transportation, sometimes for fun and competition. Okay, can you start that over? <laughs> All right. So from the beginning. I'm sorry, yeah. Bicycle, let's just strip it down. Awesome. Okay. So bi would be two, and a cycle. It's a, it's a repetitive motion. Uh, it continues to go and uh, gets you somewhere. Is that with an S? It's, uh, it's Look, you know, maybe this, I, I should, probably should offer this to begin with. This might be easy, this kind of a visual thing. Maybe, Darren, can we have, can we bring out the bike? Get this out of the way here. I hope my chiropractor's not watching the way I lifted that table, you know? <laughs> anyway, so. Now pretend this is uh, actually Johnny's bike. I'll just, there you go. go. Yeah, I better. Here at here at Wolfop Television, up Periscope, we uh, safety is number one. So I'm gonna get on the other side of this so that people can see it. Do you want to stand up? Oh yeah, certainly. Okay, so let's, okay, this is, so bicycle, let's start at the beginning. So you're touching the bicycle, no longer. Okay, we don't have a kickstand, unfortunately. We could get you a kickstand. Okay, how much would that cost? $20. Over here a little more, I think you're off camera. $20 for a kickstand installed? For you. Oh, for me? Special prices. Um, well, we can talk about that after the show. So now we're going to... Let's talk, show me with these brake pads. Shall we work on the brakes? Yeah, show me where the... So, th so this is your brake back here. Wait, what is it? This whole piece back here, this is, this is considered a brake. Break. Now that looks like an accordion to me. Can you it does. So there's a little portion... Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, yeah, I feel like that wasn't, didn't end up being all that helpful. But that, as you know, that annoying alarm uh, means that the guest segment is over. And it's time to move on to the game segment. <laughs> Oh, oh God. So, for our game segment this week, we're going to play every host's favorite uh, game, which is my favorite game, uh, File Shredder. And so what File Shredder is, you guys probably remember, it's not really shredding at all, it's more of a purging. We take old, uh, sensitive wolf out uh, television documents, and to get rid of them, we crumple them up and we play a horse-like game. Um, so we're going to randomly, so instead of horse, because that's kind of boring, we're going to randomly select a word from the dictionary to play. Does that sound good? That's great. Okay, let's just, uh, 
Anti-disestablishmentarianism. I don't usually like to do these over, so anti-disestablishmentarianism it is. So I'll let the guests shoot first. So just got to call your shot, you know how this works, friendly game. A little no look hook shot? No look hook. Ooh, in the chandelier. Oh, I do my own. Um, let's see, I'm going underhand flip like this. Ooh. All right. About a little feet off the ground. One hand. Ooh, you hit my wife. Extra point for you. Okay, now we're going to do uh, one foot. Underhand flip like this, seeing Whitney Houston. Uh, when you say. I'm doing stuff and doing different stuff. Doing different sorts of stuff. Couldn't remember any words. I got one for you. Mm -hmm. uh, round the back. Wow, really terrible. I'm going to do one we can actually make. I'm going to collect. Hold on. Hey, thanks. Okay, so it's going, mm, it's going easy. Yeesh. Yeesh. Got to get something on the board. All right. Here we go. Hey. 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 Okay. Underhand flip like this. I really want to get this, you guys. Oh. Sensitive documents, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, and, 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 That's and, an and, 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 Oh, I am so sorry. Oh, that was the end of regulation. I guess it's a draw. We didn't get to finish the game. So. Hey, good match. I love a tie. I love a tie. So, Dave, thanks so much for being here. That's our show, ladies and gentlemen. I want to thank my guests, Dave G, my crew of two, Viv and Johnny, Tyler and Sinbot for the musics, all those bikes for letting me ride them. Please follow us on Periscope and Twitter. We're at WolfOutTV. Check out our other shows on WolfOut.TV. You're home for the shows I make. And please... If you guys like this show at all, just share it. We're at about 80 viewers a week, for, a week right now, so I'd like to see that a little closer to a million. Okay, a million? Yeah, we can do it, guys. But as always, be excellent to each other, guys. Hey, see you guys next week. I gotta think of an age. Thanks for joining us. Hugs. <laughs>